In this video we will talk about giraffes adaptation. Let's first know some cool facts and information about giraffes. The world's tallest land mammal, the giraffe, has nine subspecies including the Rothschild, Nubian, Rhodesian and Angolan. These subspecies are often recognized by the type of markings they bear and the area in which they live. Other than these slight differences, they are all essentially the same and can interbreed successfully. Description The giraffe is a large animal with long legs and a long neck, light tan in color with patterns of dark patches which are unique to individual giraffes. Males can stand up to 18 feet in height and weigh 3,000 pounds, while females are smaller at around 16 feet and 2,500 pounds. Giraffes also have two small, straight horns on the top of their heads and a tongue which can be up to 20 inches in length. Habitat and range giraffes are found in several countries on the African continent including Sudan, Somalia, Kenya and Nigeria. They are often found on open grassland, wooded savannas and open woodland. They do stay close to sources of water, but prefer dry areas to tropical forests. Giraffes live in the dry savanna and dry open woodland areas of sub-Saharan Africa. Their habitat needs to have a good supply of trees, they flock towards acacia trees in particular. Giraffes use their extremely long legs, necks and tongues to browse on the leaves and buds. They have a difficult time gathering food from the ground, so they aren't usually found in treeless areas. Giraffes like to eat constantly and will eat hundreds of pounds of vegetation in a week. During rainy periods, they are found in deciduous woodlands, but congregate at watering holes or rivers when the weather is dry. Diet giraffes are herbivores and have to eat in the region of 140 pounds of food per day. They feed on the leaves and foliage of evergreen and deciduous trees, using their height to reach the top branches that other grazing animals cannot reach. Some of the trees they eat from contain sharp thorns, a problem the giraffe combats with its long nimble tongue. Life cycle The giraffe has no set mating season and young can be born year-round with the typical pregnancy lasting 15 months. The young are born at already around 6 feet in height at birth. In the wild they typically live for around 15 years, but can live longer in captivity. Predators A healthy adult giraffe generally has little to fear in the way of predators except for, of course, Africa's top carnivore the lion, with which it shares much of its range. Lions are a danger to young, sick and injured animals and have been known, in times of hunger, to bring down healthy adult giraffes. Giraffe adaptation, physical adaptation to their environment. The unique physical appearance of the giraffe represents the coming together of a variety of adaptations that make the giraffe perfectly fitted for the niche they occupy in the environment. Let us look at some of these adaptations, starting with height, as that is the most obvious characteristic of a giraffe. Height The giraffe is the tallest animal in the world with males standing about 3 meters at the shoulder and 5 meters at the head. The largest giraffe bull recorded was almost 7 meters tall. This great height comes with a great deal of bulk and giraffe bulls weigh well over 1 ton, 1,200 kilograms, 2,600 pounds average. The great height of a giraffe gives it access to food from the tops of trees that no other browsing herbivores are competing for, because they cannot reach that high. Giraffe feed from 1.6 meters to at least 5 meters above the ground. Even within the species there is a further division. Females tend to browse on the outside portions of trees with their heads level. The males stick their heads into the crowns of trees with their mouths pointing upwards to browse. 2. Eyesight and other senses Giraffe eye Giraffe have the largest eyes of any land mammal and apparently they are able to see in color most animals see in monochrome. Bulls are not in fact excited by the color red, just by having a cloth flapped in their faces. Giraffes have good eyesight and this is their primary sense for detecting danger. Obviously also their height gives them a good vantage point from which to check visually for danger. They have the characteristic prey eyes on the sides of the skull to give them almost 360 degrees vision. Their sense of hearing is also acute. It appears that their sense of smell is only moderate and in any case the head is above most general ground wind currents. Nevertheless, giraffe always feed moving into the wind and enough scent reaches them to provide clues to possible danger. 
3. Mouth and tongue The giraffe's upper lip is prehensile and used for gathering in vegetation when foraging. This process is assisted by the tongue which is up to 20 inches long, extending the reach of the already tall animal, and is purple, black colored by melanin to help protect the tongue during frequent sun exposure. The lips, tongue and inside of the mouth are covered in papillae to protect against thorns and a tough layer protects the palate. Giraffes have a very sticky, almost rubbery, saliva, which provides further protection against the thorny diet. 4. Muzzle This fabulously adapted set of mouth parts is set in a very narrow muzzle which facilitates poking the head in amongst thorny branches. The rubbery nostrils can be clamped shut as protection against ants or sand storms. 5. Neck The giraffe achieves part of its great height by having the longest neck of any animal. It is interesting to note that they only have seven vertebrae in their necks exactly the same number as humans but the elongation of the neck is caused by the lengthening of the cervical vertebrae and not by the addition of more vertebrae and largely takes place after birth, as giraffe mothers would have a difficult time giving birth to young with the same neck proportions as adults. 6. Neck supporting ligament As you can imagine the giraffe's neck is very heavy and it requires a special adaptation to carry such a long neck upright. The vertebrae in the vicinity of the giraffe's shoulders have vertical extensions supporting a very large ligament called the Nutcha ligament, which runs from the back of the skull to the base of the tail and functions like a giant elastic band pulling the neck back over the front legs and reducing the strain of carrying the hugely heavy neck. 7. Valves in the neck Valves controlling blood flow. The giraffe's neck has valves which regulate blood pressure and flow because the heart alone is not strong enough to pump all the way up the two. 5 meters to the head. Powerfully muscular neck arteries function to support the heart to increase blood pressure in the neck but a complex network of veins at the base of the brain lowers blood pressure and regulates the flow of blood into the brain. These vessels expand when the giraffe puts its head down to drink allowing a controlled amount of blood into the head and contract when the head is raised again, so that the blood does not rapidly leave the brain and cause a blackout. 8. Heart and blood pressure The giraffe's heart is situated relatively high in the chest and right forward against the sternum compared to other animals. It needs a massive heart weighing about 24 pounds 11 kgs and about 2 feet 50 centimeters long, about the size of a 4-liter container to circulate blood for many meters from ground level to head level and back. The giraffe has the highest blood pressure of any land mammal, double that of humans, and the heart beats at about 150 beats per minute and pumps a bathtub's worth of blood every three minutes. At rest the giraffe takes 20 breaths per minute, humans take 12 breaths per minute and elephants 10 breaths per minute. 9. Toughness of skin The giraffe's very high blood pressure calls for particularly strong and thick skin, especially in the chest and front legs, to control blood pressure. Larger veins are situated deep within the legs and the veins are very fine nearer the surface. 10. Skin pattern The obvious function of the giraffe skin pattern, which is unique to each animal, like our fingerprints, is for camouflage and it is remarkable how the broken pattern makes it possible for such a huge animal to blend with its background and only really become visible when it moves. A less obvious function of the skin pattern is for temperature regulation. Around each dark patch is a vein leading into branching finer blood vessels just under the skin in the middle of the patch, emitting heat as the blood flows through them. 11. Legs Obviously part of the giraffe's height is obtained by having very long legs. Its very sturdy front legs, supporting the massive neck, are longer than the back legs, so the back slopes quite sharply towards the tail. The great length of the legs has implications when it comes to locomotion. The giraffe has two distinct gaits, walking and galloping. When walking most four-legged animals put forward one front foot and then the opposite side back foot then the other front foot then the opposite back foot. Giraffe locomotion The giraffe, on the other hand, walks by moving the right legs together and then the left legs together, with the neck working in synchronicity to keep the body in balance. When galloping, the giraffe uses its front legs together and its back legs together, as do most other mammals. Point 1-2. Hooves giraffes are surprisingly fast when they decide to run, up to 50 kms 35 miles per hour, an hour, but on the whole when threatened they tend to fight rather than flight. They defend themselves with horse-like forward kicks with their front legs. 
A single blow from the front hooves can kill or cripple a lion. The behavioral adaptations of giraffes' behavioral adaptations help organisms survive and reproduce in non-indigenous and dangerous environments. Behavioral adaptations take time to develop as they are genetically passed on to ensuing generations. Giraffes have developed several behavioral adaptations because of their physical characteristics and environmental demands. The following are commonly recognized behavioral adaptations of giraffes by zoologists and wildlife observers. Drinking water mammals must drink water in order to survive, but drinking water can be very dangerous for a giraffe. A giraffe's main predators are humans, hyenas, lions and crocodiles. Giraffes have very long necks. Bending down to drink water makes giraffes susceptible to attack because they cannot see what is going on around them. Animal predators can quickly grab the giraffe's neck to crush it, and human poachers can get a better aim. A behavioral adaptation giraffes make when they drink water is to gulp it. Gulping is drinking a lot of liquid quickly without choking. Giraffes gulp as much as 10 gallons of water in a few minutes. They have also adapted the ability to go a long time without drinking a lot of water. Giraffes can survive off the water from the morning dew and water content on tree leaves. Lying down to go to sleep presents a problem if a giraffe has to get up quickly to run from an approaching predator. So giraffes have adapted the ability to sleep standing up. Also, giraffes can survive with 30 minutes of sleep a day. Usually giraffes sleep in 5-minute intervals, while another giraffe is watching for danger. Eating habits Giraffes spend up to 18 hours a day feeding on grass, shrubs and other foliage. During droughts, giraffes restrict their eating pattern and survive without food because they survive off the stored food in one of their four stomach chambers. The giraffe also adapts its diet to eat the foliage of the acacia tree. The tree has very sharp thorns and other animal herbivores avoid eating its foliage, but, the giraffe produces thick saliva that coats its mouth and helps to digest the foliage and thorns. The giraffe also uses its long tongue to reach around the thorny spikes to pluck the foliage off the tree. Social adaptation A giraffe extends its long neck to sleep, reach food, look out for danger and for male giraffes to establish dominance during mating. But half the time giraffes use their necks to graze on plants and leaves below their shoulder level. Physically, giraffes are quiet, extremely tall, have excellent eyesight and are considered very intelligent. The intelligence of giraffes is a factor in how quickly they adapt behaviorally in response to changing external stimuli. Camouflage Its dark color protects it from the sun and its tough texture protects it from sharp thorns. A giraffe spots also help it camouflage, or blend in with its surroundings. Long necks imagine coming home from school and being hungry. You look for something to eat and see your favorite snack on top of the highest shelf in the kitchen. You search everywhere for something to stand on so you can reach it, but you're out of luck. Your snack is too high and just out of reach. You might not have this problem if you were a giraffe. Giraffes have adaptations, or characteristics that help animals survive in the natural habitat. And one of those adaptations is a very long neck. Without that neck, giraffes would be in the same situation you are with your snack. Although they'll eat plants and shrubs closer to the ground, giraffes have a favorite snack, acacia tree leaves. But you can't eat leaves in tall trees if you can't reach them. Fortunately, giraffes' necks are the perfect length to reach those lip-smacking leaves. But their necks aren't just good for reaching tasty treats. They also help keep giraffes from becoming a mid-afternoon snack for other animals, like hungry lions. Because their heads sit up so high on their stretched out necks, giraffes can see a long way in all directions. This makes them harder to sneak up on. Prehensile tongue giraffes also have long prehensile tongues, which means that the tongue can twist, wrap around, and grab things. Their tongue can be nearly 20 inches long, which is just a little shorter than two footballs lined up point to point. A giraffe's tongue isn't just long and acrobatic. It also has a thick top, which is helpful for dealing with the acacia tree's long, sharp thorns. The tongue can snake around and dodge those spikes to get to the leafy snacks they like to munch on. And you might also notice that a giraffe's tongue is a blackish, bluish, 
purple color on top and pink underneath. Scientists think that dark color acts like sunscreen to protect its tongue from getting a sunburn while it eats. How do giraffes protect themselves? As the tallest animals to cross this planet's surface, giraffes are surprisingly vulnerable to predators. Adult giraffe size intimidates many potential predators, so younger giraffes are more vulnerable. The giraffe's most powerful protective asset is a powerful kick it gives with its front feet, with a force strong enough to kill a lion. Thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like to this video.